Hey friends, welcome to my channel Dental Edge. I'm Dr. Bhanachuk. I have started an exam series in which I'll be covering important topics of oral pathology. The purpose of this video is to help you identify topics that have been asked in previous examination. This does not mean something else cannot be asked, but the probability of these topics to be asked is much more than the others. Today in this video, I will be sharing important topics from a very commonly asked chapter that is tumors or salivary glands. Also, I have already covered important topics from two chapters previously that is developmental disturbances of oral and paraoral structures and benign and malignant tumors of oral cavity. You can check them as well. I am mentioning the link below in the description box as well as here up on the screen. So now let's get started with today's topic that is tumors of salivary glands. Now one of the commonly asked question in this chapter is classify salivary gland tumors or enumerate or list salivary gland diseases. So you should know this. Then from the benign tumors of salivary glands the important topics are pleomorphic adenoma or mixed tumor. It is a very commonly asked question. Then, Warthin's tumor, it is also a very important topic. The other name for Warthin's tumor is papillary cystadenoma lymphomatosum and usually there is a question in viva, why is it called so? Basal cell adenoma, it is not that commonly asked but you should at least read this topic. Coming to malignant tumors of salivary glands, in this, the commonly asked questions are mucoepidermoid carcinoma, and adenoid cystic carcinoma or cylindroma. In this also, there can be a viva question, why is it called as a cylindroma? Some of the other questions that are asked are, write about salidinitis, silolithiasis, Jogren syndrome, necrotizing silometoplasia, although this is not a very commonly asked topic, then mucosil is also a very commonly asked question. In this, you can be asked to write about mucosil or you can be asked to write about extra recession mucosil or a retention mucosil or true mucus retention cyst. You can also be asked to write about a ranula. So friends, we are done with the topic. In the upcoming lecture, I will be talking about odontogenic tumors and jaw cyst. Also friends, I have already made detailed lectures on important topics like ameloblastoma, CEOT, AOT, odontome, dentigerous cyst, odontogenic keratocyst, definition of cyst, part of cyst. You can check them as well. You can like and follow me on my Facebook page below. Also, feel free to ping me on my WhatsApp number mentioned below if you like to get yourself added in my WhatsApp group where I can solve any of your queries or have one-on-one -on -one discussion. Also friends, it takes lots of effort to make such videos. Your one like can give me lots of encouragement. So do like my video and subscribe to my channel for more dental videos. Thank you.